Hey guys, Lauren here with BizJock. In this week's video, I wanna share with you the importance of what's the process for calling or reaching out to late patients, right? We've all had those patients that show up and you're looking at your clock and you're like, all right, Mr. Jones, he's five minutes late, he's 10 minutes late, like where is he? But really the question is, what is the process? What is the process when that patient shows up late? When do we reach out? When do we call? And here's my favorite question, Lauren, who should call? Is that the front office team's job? Is that the clinical team's job? Like who owns the patient? Um, all right, so let's kind of dissect that, shall we? Clinicians, if you are watching this video, I need you to hang with me, okay? I need you to hear me all the way out. You own your patients. That means if I am Lauren hygienist or Lauren assistant and I've got a nine o'clock patient and it's 9.05, technically, now I know you guys have tons of other things that you could be doing, but technically if there's not a patient in my chair, I have the time capacity to call my patients, okay? Now I know for some of you, you're like, yeah, but I don't answer the phones and all of that. You know, the, that's the front office team's job. Like, shouldn't they be calling it? Guys, your front office team, they love you, right? But they also have a ton of things going on um, every second of the day, just like you do. So hear me out. So the front office team, they're focused on checking patients in, checking patients out, handling insurance, making sure the right treatment was attached, making sure that patients are paying to come back and see us, making sure that patients have their confirmation to show up you know, for their appointment in two days. <sighs> There's a lot going on, guys. Um, so what they're not doing and what they what typically falls through the cracks is they're not looking at every single clinician's um, schedule and saying, okay, at the one at the five after mark, I've got to be calling their patients, um, but I've got another hygienist and I've got to call that that person or the, excuse me that hygienist patient five minutes into their appointment, guys. There's too many moving parts and you know as well as I do, sometimes the schedule is totally crazy and we've got patients who are supposed to be checking in and checking out at different times. So clinical team, please own your patients. I'm telling you, you will be the heroes to your front office team. Your patients will enjoy and respect you even more, but I'm also telling you, it's a better flow for everybody, okay? so. Clinical team members, you should be owning your patients, which means five minutes into their appointment, that's when you should be calling the patient. Now, you've gotta be very careful in the verbiage that you say, right? So if you're calling your patient, you're like, okay, Lauren, I get it. I'll call my patients, I'll own them, you're right. So fine, I'll call my patients, but now what? So you're calling your patients five minutes into their appointment because they're still not here. So what do you say? Well, be you for starters. Say, hey, Mrs. Jones, this is Lauren, your hygienist. I'm so excited to see you. Um, I had you down for a nine o'clock appointment. Are you almost here? Don't say, are you on your way to your appointment or are you still coming? See, we're assuming they're showing up. So you've gotta say, are you almost here? Like I assume that they're headed to see us because of course they respect our time. They respect the fact that they scheduled that appointment. And remember, it's their appointment. They're responsible to show up for their appointment. We're not responsible to make them show up. It is a courtesy when we call our patients. And so you wanna be very careful in that verbiage that you're using with your patients. So, hey Susie, patient, you know, this is Lauren, your hygienist. I'm so excited to see you today. Are you almost here for your nine o'clock appointment? Keep in mind, it's 9.05, so now they know they are late. When Susie patient is like, oh, uh, yeah, 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 you know, the hem ha that happens when we call our patients. Now you can control if you still have time to see your patient based on the conversation. So I want to talk through a couple things. When that patient says, oh, I'll be there in five minutes, you guys know as well as I do, it never means five minutes. So you've got to control the conversation. Give them a timestamp. Say, um, well, Susie, as long as you're here by X time, then I can absolutely still see you for your entire appointment today. Um, if you get here at this time, then we might only be able to get X, Y, and Z done, whatever that is for you, okay? So you guys know your schedule better than the front office team. You also know those patients better than the front office team. See, it goes back to the why do I need the clinical team to call their own patients? Guys, because you're the expert on your patient's care. You know that patient that whenever they come in for a profi, you're like, no, Lauren, I need the full hour with them. Like Mrs. Jones always takes that full hour of time. But then you also know that patient where you're like, you know what? 
little Johnny, he's quick, you know, he's in college, I can get him in, get him out, and I can knock out a quick pro fee visit and the doctor exam all within 40 minutes. See, you guys know that. Your front office team doesn't. So here's what I'm asking. I'm asking you to try it. I'm asking you to own your patience, okay? And so I like to call it the five minute mark. Use some of that verbiage, practice it. Plus, your patients have rapport and respect for you because you're their hygienist or you're the doctor's assistant and they love their doctor, whatever it is, guys. But make sure that you're taking that off the front office team's plate and then just practice as always, role play the verbiage, practice it with your front office team, but make sure that you feel really comfortable and confident. Now, here's the other question that I always get asked. So usually I get buy-in from the clinical team and they're like, okay, Lauren, I totally get it. You're right, we need to own our patients. But what happens if? What happens if I'm stuck with the patient? What happens if I'm running behind? What happens if the doctor's like, oh, you're available, you can help me, give me one second. I still want you to own your patient. Now that doesn't mean I need you to stop everything you're doing and go call your patient, but I do need you to own, hey, team member up front, will you please call my nine o'clock patient? I'm stuck with another patient or the doctor's pulling me into a room to help assist them for a moment. Do you mind calling my nine o'clock? Now the front office team can own your patient for you. Isn't that a better process? It creates a better flow for the front team and the back team, but also it creates a better experience for your patient. Again, because you know if you can still see your patient based on what time they show up for their appointment um, and based on what time they might arrive to the dental office, okay? So if you get stuck, reach out to us. But guys, I'm so excited. I'm so proud of you for owning your patients and taking responsibility. And I know that's gonna take a tremendous off your front office team. So front office team, if you're watching this, be sure to help support your clinical team, help set them up for success, role play, ask where you can help, but also thank them for owning their patients. Guys, that is what I call an exceptional team experience. As, as always guys, if you need any help, please reach out to our team. Otherwise, we can't wait to see you and serve you soon.